Welcome to Pro Stitcher Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. I want to show you how to offset a design like a clamshell where you want to have every other row offset by that half so that the point meets the top of the clam underneath it. So let's take a look at the screen and I'll walk you through the steps. So first of all, I want to open up a design. So we'll select our file tab, design, open. And in the one PS designs continuous line, I want to open up my clamshell. I'm just gonna use this basic clamshell here. Really simple design, but when we offset it, it looks really amazing. The next thing we need to do is set up an area. So first, I will move my machine to the top left corner of my quilt and select my area tab and touch to corner. Okay, we'll touch my uh, refresh so you can see on the screen what I'm doing. I will move my machine down to the bottom right corner of my quilt top, touch to corner, touch refresh, and from here I can adjust the height of my quilt. I will just tap here in the sidebar the uh, height box. I'll touch clear and I'm going to put in 40. My quilt is roughly 40 by 40. You, of course, will enter in the dimensions for your quilt. So be sure to measure your quilt on the frame so that you know how long it is. All right, next we want to repeat this design. So let's select the Repeat tab. And Basic is selected. Let's choose Horizontal and touch Fill. And you can see that that fills, the, the fills it with as many designs as will fit inside that area. And I think this is where you can really see that we want to offset these designs so we get that almost like a fish scale look. So first of all, I do want to stretch it so that it fills up the entire area and then touch vertical. So I did that horizontally and I'll stretch this one also. That way we're filling up the entire area. Next, I'll go back to my ribbon and touch wrap. Under horizontal in the row box, I'll touch the half button there and look, that did exactly what I wanted. You can now see that those designs are offset by exactly half. And of course, you can make adjustments with the arrows there if you'd like. Be sure to baseline your design and save it before you stitch. And that's how you offset an edge-to-edge -edge design.